Welcome back. Like John said before the break, the show will start just about now in earnest. Now, the, def the, the dictionary definition says wealth creation is an accumulation of assets, especially those that generate income over a long period of time. And that's a so long true. period of time. Yeah, that's true, Helen. Everyone, in my opinion, is happy to create wealth. That is clear. But how many are equipped with the knowledge and skill to manage and sustain this status? Mm. And this is where the experts come in. And so to answer some of your questions, which we will be standing in for you this morning on the show today with John and Helen on wealth creation is our very first guest. Um, she's um, Sholakwe Akinkbelu. She's a certified financial education instructor and member of the Personal Finance Speakers Association USA. She's founder her vest. A woman focused, easy to use financial tech inclusion platform, enabling women across the globe to participate in savings as well as impact investments and credits. John. Well, guess what? Sholakwe Akinkbelu. Yes, huge. <laughs> guess what? She's also a financial feminist. And mm. I wonder what that is. She will tell us. Uh, who believes in achieving gender equality and reducing inequality through financial literacy, technology, and access to capital. And finally, she's a member of the Chartered Institute of Marketing UK. Wow. Mm. Thank you so much for Lake for representing us. <laughs> you are most welcome to the program. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Thank you. We will Thank you. dive, uh, we'll go straight away. I'm going to fire the first shot. So my first question, Shalakwe, on wealth creation is this. Let's go to the basics, okay? Could you explain okay. to us, like we are novices, like mm. we never heard about it, what constitutes wealth creation? Great. Thank you so much. Good morning, Lagos. Good morning, Nigeria. Thanks for having me, John and Helen. Um, I'll break it down because typically from um, research, from question surveys we've done, a lot of people feel, you know, wealth creation, um, its sustenance, growth, passing it on is something that's just for the, you know, supposedly wealthy people. Like it's complicated. So I will break it down. Basically, Wealth is technically just assets minus liabilities. It is not a function of paycheck, age, social class. It is basically your, your total assets minus your liabilities. So let me dimension it. Um, I've got a total asset of, let's say, 100 Naira. And in liabilities, my liabilities is, um, say, about... 20 Naira, so that eventually I have maybe an investable income of 80 Naira, right? And I have maybe a sister, a brother, who has a paycheck of about 1,000 Naira, but in liabilities, his liabilities is about 2,000 Naira. So I throw it back to you. Who is wealthier, myself with the 100 Naira paycheck or my brother with the 1,000 Naira paycheck? Yeah, yeah. Definitely, your brother. Your brother, the... your brother is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so are we right, your brother? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, he's got he's got the, he's got the fatter paycheck. He's got the flashy cars. Yes. He's got the you know nice house, cute um, holiday home somewhere. Yeah. But in truth, in reality, I'm wealthier. Oh. Because his liabilities are way more. His liabilities are way more than his total assets, mm -hmm. wow. right? So mm -hmm. you see that it's, it's wealth isn't, you know, oh, that, that, that dude, you know, he, he's got the best designer watches, he's got a collection of designer bags, he's wealthy. Probably not. In, short, in many cases, it isn't so. Okay. So wealth is your total asset, minus. you know, minus liabilities. liabilities. Function of paycheck side, not function of age, education, qualification. Every individual is on a unique wealth journey. Mm. All right. And since this is a show for the family and uh, we know um, how much trouble or how much pleasure the fact of wealth and finance, you know, um, brings to the family setup. 
Um, let's ask you this question. Can any income bracket earner create wealth? Either you are on your own or you're working for government, you're just starting out. Can any income bracket earner create wealth? Certainly, yes. Even a student, right? You know, we just described um, wealth not being um, probably abundance as abundance or uh, as, as, as a lot of people use this words interchangeably. Mm -hmm. Even a student can create wealth. An income earner within any bracket, we even, <laughs> you know, in our community, we talk about mining wealth from zero. You can actually make wealth even without an income. Um, so allow me to dimension um, wealth as it is. So I, I want to believe that, I want to assume that while you asked, you were talking about financial wealth, that is financial capital. Mm -hmm. But there's an overlooked form of capital that is really critical, even to your financial capital. And that's your social capital and human capital. That is you identifying yourself that you're a scalable resource that you identifying your network as a scalable resource. Because between you, your network, you can mine it greatly so much that it gives you great financial capital. So I'll just break that down. Because I said that even a student can, you know, a student who probably isn't working or someone who thinks, I, I don't even have an income. How do I even want to talk about wealth? There's no context, there's no background to discuss wealth making. Mm. If you realize that you yourself are a human capital, personal development could be the difference between yourself and um, the financial capital that you want to make. Yeah. Then you add that to you know, your, your network, your network of people, uh, how you socialize, how you uh, um, network, how rich is it? So when I say how rich is it, are you leading with value in that network? I don't say that it's constantly, I want this. Could you please do this for me? Could you please do that for me? Okay, you combine all of that together and you realize that, you know, you can really mine wealth. Aside from that, when you now get to the stage of financial wealth itself, that's the financial capital, it's more of mindset. Mindset to know that regardless of how little I can keep this aside and with self-discipline, getting the right accountability partner. In some cases, some people don't even need, but we say we encourage to get accountability, accountability partner, budget rights, realize that no matter how much it is, or no matter how much there is even not, you can actually create wealth. Hmm. Wow. And that, that, that really interests me because you said just now that you can actually create wealth from mm -hmm. zero. And... Uh, it's like for some people, zero is nothing, mm. right? So could you, could you just expand a bit on that? How can you create something from nothing? Meaning there's no level that is nothing. In dropshipping. Uh -uh. Dropshipping simply means, um, so you, John, John sells this. John has a warehouse selling TV set tv units for instance i put that picture up on my whatsapp status someone wants to buy john sells for one era from the warehouse i sell it for one naira 50 cover the, the buyer pays me i pay john one era john dispatches that tv set from his warehouse mm. to the buyer mm -hmm. right from the convenience of my home i've been able to make 50 naira through john's network and through um, um, the realization that I'm a capital that I can mine wealth through myself. Mm. I have not committed anything to that business, remember. Mm. Mm. So there are businesses, there are ideas like this. Seeing people, you know, have a particular knowledge instead of teaching it for free, you know, they mine it into an ebook, right? Into an ebook that doesn't cost anything to publish. Thank God for digitization and technology, which we are, you know, um, um, immensely blessed, especially when it comes to knowledge in people. In, an, in a nation like ours, we have we are immensely blessed in knowledge. So you see people mining knowledge, you know, trading it, and from there you're making, you know, some financial capital. Okay, so it means that there's no ground zero when you're talking about creating wealth. So are there layers or strategies to wealth creation? What's the ABC to getting wealthy? All right. Um, the first thing, because, you know, wealth money, as you know, it, it's, it's an emotion. It is 
um, energy. So we have to be careful um, around things around money. So what I'm saying basically is it's more psychological. The first step towards wealth creation is the mindset. Recall I said before that as a human, you are a wealth waiting to happen. Okay, so you've just got to have this money mindset, um, not to think that, oh, wealth is for bad people or rich people, uh, you know, terrible people. You know, you've just got to have the right energy to attract it. So to know that you need you need the right money mindset, you need to create the right money mindset to think about your future generation, how you'd like to live in your later years. Like you just got to have that instigation um, capital, be ready to move, be ready to create it. And you find out that as you're walking, you walk down the same street you've been walking for um, months, but with the right money mindset, you start seeing opportunities, you start seeing opportunities, right? The same people you've been um, um, mixing, mingling with, with the right money mindset, you start thinking, oh, I can actually, you know, exchange ideas, trade capital through this network. So aside from that, the next would be investing in yourself. So you realize that the money mindset doesn't cost you anything. Investing in yourself in many cases. Now, with the avalanche of information we have on the internet, it doesn't cost you anything. You want to take it a notch higher, subscribe to paid courses, relevant small, subscribe to relevant communities. There are many of them. Ours is one. It's free. And then we share, you know, knowledge nuggets from there. Um, as you realize that, that that way you're scaling up your human capital. And it's, it's, it's almost, um, you, you, I've tried this. And I encourage viewers, ourselves, to try this. I've tried this. It's worked. Investing in yourself and just changing your money mindset. It's yeah. worked. It's just like magic, okay? Right? So you, by the time you start making the financial capital, by the time you start, you know, converting it to financial capital, avoid lifestyle creep. That's one thing that a lot of us are guilty of, right? Oh, I've started making the, this money. I shouldn't be um, um, riding this kind of car again. I shouldn't be hopping buses again. I shouldn't be just because, and before you realize it, remember the first um, instance I mentioned, you have more liabilities than your income again. So you're back to ground zero. And that's how the cycle continues. Aside wow. from that, build streams of income. Hmm. One is almost never enough, okay? Build streams of income, passive, active ones. Um, I know that I've said avoid lifestyle creep. That is, you know, live within your means. But... Because we are human, our needs are insatiable, right? And um, there's no, no, uh, there's nobody that a bit of ambition or cuts, right? Ensure that you constantly expand the means. Which that is, is why you need to build strength of income. Which is where, which is where I want to jump in, Shalakbe. Yeah. Because you see, we That's we fine. we we have a lot more headache than pleasure in creating wealth. <laughs> That's my that's my opinion. Is it really important, wealth creation, with all these headaches? I okay, think, yes, it is, it is really important um, because, as I've said, you know, money is power. With money, you are um, shielded against various vices, mm. especially so, for, for instance, um, harvest. One of the reasons why we started harvest was we saw a lot of women um, very susceptible to vices very susceptible to gender based gender based violence in some cases because they probably do not have you know Capital power base. which is money here so with money it gives you a, yes it's a, it's it's a, it's a safety net it's a required safety net okay mm -hmm. especially if you have the right money mindset okay um it's a right safety net it um aside from the fact that it is necessary to leave yourself because we are here this morning. We're probably going to have a nice breakfast. This is internet we're using. You know, all of this, you know, they are done with money. Yeah. Aside from that, that it gives you um, a safety net and then it reduces um, vices or harms that can come your way because it means that you are you, you can make decisions that takes you out of harm's way with awesome. the right mindset. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Now, we, our takeaway now is that it is the right safety net yeah. and uh, absolutely important information you've given us today on uh, wealth creation. So like we want to thank you very much for filling in the blank spaces as regards wealth creation. I wish you had more time. I, I wish we had more time yes. for us to tell us how, 
how well she has fared with the women thing, the feminist women in terms of... Um, yes, being a, being yeah, a, a, a feminist... You know, focusing uh, <laughs> on getting women to, to yeah. attain that status of um, being wealthy. I, I hope um, the producer will find another opportunity to bring you back on the show and so we can concentrate Not more on what you're doing with women specifically. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be happy to come back. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you having me, John. Right. Thank yes. you. Thank, Thank you, you Shalakwe. Thanks for coming. Thank well, you. so much more to come on the show today. This is Today with John and Helen. When our next guest joins us in the conversation, we'll find out what we have. And she will take us um, much closer to how wealth is created. Yeah. Now, Shalakwe has told us what wealth creation is. We will get to know how wealth is created and much later find how we can sustain it, yeah. wealth creation. Mm -hmm. It's today with John and Helen on Plus TV. We hope that you have picked one or two things from our last guest. We will take a quick break and be back in a moment. Please don't go away. <laughs>